ओके सर नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट सम इंपॉर्टेंट डिजीज कंडीशन इन केस ऑफ हॉर्स व्हिच यू पीपल दिस टाइप ऑफ कंडीशन यू पीपल विल बी नोटिस्ड इवन इन केस ऑफ डॉग आल्सो फर्स्ट वन इज रेडियल नर्व पैरालिसिस as you know you people know about the exact location of radial nerve where this nerve is situated pata hai aapko kahan hoti hai kisi ko pata hai where this radial nerve is situated where musculo spiral groove is present in which bone musculo ha ह्यूमरस में होती है सर यस एंड इन दैट मस्कुलर स्पाइरल ग्रुप व्हिच मसल्स इज प्रेजेंट बाइसेप बाइसेप और ट्राइसेप ट्रैकेलिस मसल्स एंड ओवर दैट दैट रेडियल नर्व इज प्रेजेंट व्हेन ए डॉग कम टू यू in clinics by showing this type of symptom you see exactly this horse whatever symptom this horse is showing if any dog is uh, dog came to you by complaining that this dog is having this type of symptom then first you suspect that this uh, 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 particular patient particular animal is having some injury in humerus and some injury to the radial nerve this is the peculiar symptom of this radial nerve paralysis and this is known as dropped what dropped dropped sole you can say means aapke limbs jo hai animal and most common uh, etiology for this type of injury is only while casting animal get injured or any type of stretching which causes over stretching of the nerve or fracture of the ribs or fracture of the humerus so these type of conditions these these are the simple etiology of this radial nerve paralysis then symptoms symptoms you know animal is able to keep their limb in flexed state flexed state this is animal is not able to extend their limbs and limbs appear to be longer than the normal you see you see here this limbs appear to be longer than the normal because animal is not able to extend their limb extension extension ka jo function hota hai ye nahi ho pata isme that's why limb appears to be longer than the normal why this extension not occurs you know because extensor of the digit is the function of this radial nerves and their branches so whenever animal will move on the uneven ground gir jata hai animal and it stumbles and foot is dragged on uneven nerve foot dragging of foot is noticed whenever you will get this radial nerve uh, injury then animal is not able to move proper on uneven ground and dragging of foot is noticed on an uneven ground this is the peculiar symptoms triceps muscles is there so animal is not able to bear weight means extension is not there and knee is in semi flexed condition so this is the peculiar symptom of this uh, this is all about radial nerve paralysis nothing has to be done if any fracture is noticed here in humerus then you will repair that particular fracture or if, uh, if any simple injury is there in radial nerve then you may prescribe this nerve tonics analgesics for at least for one month then an uh, automatic this nerve injury takes time time leta hai that's why whatever uh, and sometimes steroid is also indicated for the uh, for to relieve this type of pain and some physiotherapy is also recommended to correct this nerve injury calcium supplementation multivitamin nerve nerve tonics nerve steroids and physiotherapy a fracture is there then you go for repair of that particular fracture this is the, this is all about radial nerve paralysis next one is bicipital bursitis this is just inflammation of bicipital bursa and where this bicipital bursa is situated this uh, 
is a tendon sheath here you know surrounds the tendon of biceps brachii and you know here intertubular groove is present so this bursa is present here in intertubular groove and any type of inflammation any type of injury to this bursa causes or continuous irritation to hard from by hard surface leads to inflammation of this bursa and this is this condition is known as bicipital bursitis or intertubercular bursitis symptoms you know nothing is uh, new here symptom pain on pressure any inflammation is there definitely pain will be there septic bursitis may occur sometimes undeveloped and it causes inflammation and infection to that particular region here and this causes sepsis septic uh, inflammation septic arthritis septic bursitis mineralization if suppose if any fracture is there and mineralization is there then this is also causes uh, inflammation and if you have to remove whatever fracture particle is there whatever bone particle is there we have to remove this particle to avoid this inflammation of bicipital bursa treatment is symptomatic uh, intralesional corticosteroid or even if sepsis is there then proper lavage of that particular region by antiseptic solution surgical debridement systemic antibiotic and nasads nasads is in, indicated for inflammation but in case of septic sepsis septic may bursitis you may go for systemic antibiotic so this is bicipital bursitis now this one is this this case is very uh, much common aapko bahut milega dekhne ko ye people used to keep their animal on hard surfaces this is known as tap elbow subboil or olecranon bursitis you know here you see here swelling is there two deep cavities this is subcutaneous bursitis at the elbow sometimes it becomes abscess it is most commonly seen in horses and even in cattle also and some large breed of dog is also predisposed to these type of conditions so the main etiology of this condition is repeated trauma means repeated trauma by hard surface prem kumar please keep your video on repeated trauma to the hard surface sometimes abnormal bed conformation like prominent elbow so these type of conditions uh, arises most commonly due to people used to keep their animal on hard surface when animal will repeat it, then animal will get repeated uh, contact with hard surface then these conditions develop and these conditions also develops due to some disease conditions like like influenza and strangles so sometimes these are acute or sometimes we chronic in chronic condition fibrous mass will develop and in that condition when fibrous mass will develop it is difficult to remove either you can remove this surgically but initially in initial stage intralesional antibiotic and prednisolone by drawing whatever fluid is there you can draw that particular that amount of fluid and inject some uh, prednisolone or gentamicin and try to keep on uh, try to suggest the owner that please keep your animal on soft bedding otherwise this condition will develop and it aggravate the condition you will develop into fibrous mass and ultimately we have to go for surgical removal of that particular part so these are the um, treatment of tapped elbow you know soft bedding warm fomentation chronic condition systemic in uh, if cystic in nature suppose if fluid is there suppose fluid is there means when you will insert a needle sometimes cyst is there also so whatever injection you will give inject some irritant to destroy that particular cyst wall of the cyst so that again fluid formation is can be prevented cyst ka yahi hota hai cyst koi bhi usko destroy karne ke liye koi bhi irritant solution aap inject kar dijiye तो उसमें क्या होगा वो वाल मेम्ब्रेन को डिसॉल्व कर देगा कर देगा सो फर्दर 
fluid um, uh, accumulation is prevented. Filtration or insertion of cetone, if any uh, large amount of fluid there is passes there, then these are the simple treatment just like as abscess. And if fibrous thickening is there in chronic conditions, then extirpation, the removal of that particular part, surgical removal of that particular part is known as extirpation of bursa. Bursa ko aap se remove kar dijiye. That in chronic uh, condition, later stage mein fibrous thickening ho jati hai, so usko aap remove kar dijiye. Aseptic inspiration and uh, aspiration and um, corticosteroid injection I have already suggested. The next one is ultrasonic radiation therapy. This therapy is also indicated, but we are mostly using this uh, aseptic aspiration and corticosteroid injection here. Now, next one is ohm arthritis. Ohm arthritis means arthritis of shoulder joint. Arthritis of shoulder joints uh, is known as ohm arthritis and any type of trauma most commonly during casting of the during casting on hard surfaces. So these type of these conditions develop due to injury to the shoulder joints. And uh, signs most commonly signs are most common signs in this disease condition is lifting of head when affected limb is advanced. Ye sab mein hota hai. Whenever animal suppose animal right uh, four limb mein pain hai usko, when animal will put uh, weight on that particular limb, animal will lift their head. Humke hamare mein bhi hota hai. Humne prahaya tha aapko uh, during diagnosis ke uh, samay. Then imperfect, imperfect flexion of the limb. Flexion uh, restrict ho jayega. Imperfect flexion will be there. And certain, certain anterior phase of stride. And if condition is severe, then sometimes animal will stumble. Jata hai. In case of arthritis, uh, septic arthritis, sometimes there is fixation of scapulohumeral joints. Circumduction of limb is also noticed. So, diagnosis of limbness can also be done by nerve blocks. And um, for this, uh, for diagnosis of this ohm arthritis, most commonly used nerve block is median, musculocutaneous, and ulnar nerve block. When you will block these nerves, then animal will feel normal, will put their limbs normally, and it indicates that animal is having some inflammation in the shoulder joints. No treatment. This is very, uh, prognosis is not good. Corticosteroids is indicated for temporarily for any NSRs we can use. Now this one is capni. This is hygroma of the hygroma of the corpus. Synovial swelling over the anterior surface of the carpal joints. This is acquired bursitis, and this is most commonly uh, seen in uh, very stall fed cattle, and it is not occasionally noticed in case of horses. And the Etiology of this condition is, you know, repeated trauma due to hard surface. And this cap knee condition sometimes develops in dairy cattle due to brucella, in, brucella infections. So whenever you will get these type of conditions in cattle, first you confirm that whether this animal is having, uh, have, this animal is vaccinated for brucella or not. Because these conditions develop due to brucella infection also. Symptoms is same, uh, pain, increased digital pulse. This is the uh, increased digital pulse always noticed in case of acute inflammation. Agar foot may be acute inflammation, hota hai, the digital artery may pulse system. Jata hai. Sometimes due to inflammation, temperature is also increased. This is normal things, nothing is new here. Swelling is noted, noticed. Sometimes we see the stracular fluid is noticed on exploration. Agar aap needle pierce karenge, needle insert karenge, you will get some acid stracular fluid in this, uh, from, by these swellings. So these are the some signs, these are the important signs of this cap knee condition. And treatment is just like same, I'll, I've already discussed for this. 
injection of corticosteroids and antibiotics and counter pressure always try to keep bandaging on this portion so that further tooth formation will be prevented and I suggest owner to avoid hard surface because agar jahan ye hard surface pe rahega again condition will aggravate here also if chronic fibrous form is there then sir sir sir, sir. हाँ बोलिए सर सर अभी जो ये ये है इसमें सर हम 